If you lose all your whites in your watercolor, I'm gonna show you how to get them back. I'm Jess Rice. I'm an art teacher and beginners are my specialty. Normally, when you're painting a watercolor, the whites showing through are the paper still showing through. So you're painting around those whites all the time. But sometimes you lose them along the way. Here on my little island, I've lost some of my light, nice light right in front of my island here. I want a nice splash zone of, of water hitting that, those rocks there. To add a little bit of white back in, you can always use a gouache. This is a white gouache, and gouache is opaque, so it's gonna sit on top of all my color here. It's not gonna be transparent so I can see through it. It's gonna sit on top. Let's add a little bit of gouache into my palette here. Again, I just wanna add just a little white right along my little island here. I think that would punch that area up a little bit, make it a little bit more interesting to look at. Like what's happening in this area right here? White's just like a regular watercolor, or gouache is just like a regular watercolor. It's just a hair bit thicker, because it's so opaque, and you want it that nice thickness so it's gonna sit on top. Just like mixing regular watercolor, pull it out, mix it up. And I'm just gonna run. It's a nice splash line along my island there. Already beefs it up. Just makes it a little bit more exciting maybe a little bit more up out here in front. Water splashing just a little bit more as it's hitting that island. Now I generally let that dry, and then I'll come back in and I'll give it another shot over the top of it. This will dry just a little bit darker. If I want it just a little bit lighter, I can dry it and then come back in and hit it one more time. Another way to get your whites back is you can always go back in and brush off some of that color but a lot of the color I'd used on there was a staining color, so it stained my paper. I'm never gonna get that color back off. It looks like I actually did try to, to scrub some of it off to get some light back. But I wanted a bright white back, and I'm not gonna get that unless I use a little bit of gouache. I've dried this area off, and now I'm gonna hit it one more time just to get it nice and white. Again, I mix up a little more color, a little bit thicker this time. And I just want just a few areas that are just a little bit lighter, not all of it. Just a little bit of brightness coming back on there. Much better. Now I can actually come nice and dark right behind them to make them really stand out. I've got my nice dark color already mixed up here, almost my black. A little bit of phthalo turquoise, a little bit of alizarin crimson. Now I can come up right next to those whites. Make a nice little splash zone right there. Look how that gouache interacts with that darker color. Looks much more like water splashing along that edge now. So with just a few simple strokes, you can get a, a dynamic area back again. Much better. I like how that gouache is interacting with my watercolor, it's spreading up in there, making kind of a nice little splash area in my painting. So that's how you get whites back into your watercolor. <laughs>